Well, this has been a riveting program for me um, throughout my life. People have always influenced me. And uh, a few weeks ago when I was in L.A. with Alexis and Sherry and meeting those lovely people, I felt a sense of oneness, a uniqueness which is very special. And as Alexis uh, talked about Maya Angelou and the point of why the cage bird sings and how that we have a choice sometime to die. Remember, a lot of us die while we're still alive. You know, there are more living dead people than dead, dead people. And with this crime and the fear among us, many of us are letting our life go. We're living as living, dead people. Or she said you can be transformed. What a challenge. And that is the real depth of the, the Christian message, that you can be transformed. This is not a sentimental or a psychological program. This is a program about life. We leave here to go to Camp Road tonight, New Girls Industrial School. Alexis is touching the hearts of kids who are deeply hurt, people who are marginalized. Last night she was with a group of gang leaders who have been advised from change. You realize we have a gang leaders family? <laughs> Fifteen of them. And they talk. They tell you about your country. They tell you about Nassau. But the good news is they're talking. They're talking with us. They want change in this country, too. Some of them feel trapped. The good news is that hope is on the way. I can't feel hopeless, fellow Bahamians. I don't have enough time in the day. Why don't you come and help us? 327-8719. Lexis will be lecturing again uh, this Wednesday, and then she's lecturing on Saturday morning at the family office on 7th Terrace. You may want to come and hear her. She has a lot to say. But as we come to the end of the program, Lexis and Sherry, you've blessed us. Trey, what would you like to leave with the Bahamian people? You, you bless me in so many ways. Uh, what would you like to say in closing to well, those listening? Well, I just listening? fell in love with this country 25 years ago, and it's such a beautiful place, and more importantly, you. And I think the people here are, are just gorgeous people. And you need to take back your country. You need to grab your life. And I am so um, motivated to help in that way and... I think it's just been an honor to be here, and uh, I really just hope and pray that uh, in some way bringing Dr. Abernathy here and maybe some of the words that we've shared will help you um, not feel alone in your struggle uh, in life, and that you'll come on board and get involved in the family. Mm. It'll change your life. And Professor Abernathy, it's such a joy having you here with us. I mean, I know you know America right now. Things are pretty polarized there. Mm -hmm. um, um, and um, you're concerned about that situation we're having you here. What would you like to leave with people as they listen to you tonight? I would say first, it's a pleasure to be here in your country. And it makes me think about the stories of my grandmother. We have to remember that as difficult as the present is, the past has been even more difficult. Sometimes remembering the journeys, and especially for me, people of African descent, that actually gives me hope that we've been in very, very difficult places before. And this is now a very difficult place, as I understand here in this community. Well, what Dr. Allen is offering through the family, it's a rich opportunity to help one another, to strengthen, to be more bonded. I encourage you to take advantage of that, to be strengthened by that, to be helped by it. And once again, I thank you so much for this opportunity to be here. It's been a delight and pleasure. Well, Cherry and Professor Abernathy, want to thank you so much for being with us on our program. Thank you for your consultation this week to help us to develop the family program, to develop my theory and make it much more palatable and um, um, universal. Just want to thank you. I want to say how much we really appreciate you. And fellow Bahamians, I want to thank you too as for your help during the past year. As we begin a new year, uh, let's go forth with courage and hope. Remember, we have a faith that says, Fear thou not, for I am with you. Be not dismayed, for I am thy God. I will help you. 
yet I will uphold you with the right hand of my righteousness. Let us go forth with courage and hope and determination, but more than anything else, let us go forth in love. You know, you can break one stick, but it's really hard to break 10. Happy New Year and good night. Thank you.